Thank you very much for being here. Uh, but before I start tonight, I just wanted to read a brief statement that I prepared. <laughs> I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms. <laughs> and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. I got to tell you guys, I've probably been doing this uh, 35 years now. And early in my career, I learned that there are two words in the English language that you should never say together in sequence. And those words are the and juice. <laughs> I've never heard someone do good after they said that. <laughs> Kanye's gotten into some scrapes before, and normally when, he, when he's in trouble, I pull up, I pull up immediately. But this time I was like, you know what? Uh, let me see what's gonna happen first. I just wanna see, I just wanna see where this is all going. <laughs> I can't even remember how it started. Vaguely, I remember it started with a tweet, strange tweet. It was like, um, I'm feeling a little sleepy. <laughs> I'm gonna give me some rest, but when I wake up, I'm gonna go DEFCON 3 on the Jews. And then he just went to bed. I was up all night worried, what is he gonna do to the Jews? I grew up around Jewish people. I have a lot of Jewish friends, so I'm not freaked out by your culture. I know a little bit about it just from hanging around. I'd be like, yo, yo, let's go out at school tomorrow. They'd be like, we can't go out. It's Sha Na Na tomorrow. I'd be like, what? <laughs> what is Sha Na Na? I had so many questions. Why do some of your people dress like Run DMC? <laughs> Kanye woke up from that nap, he went right to work. <laughs> a year ago, I'd seen him on a podcast called Drink Champs. A great show. Uh, and, and it was it was an amazing appearance. Uh, Noriega and them were there, the rappers that I love, and they all had their gold chains and stuff on. And uh, Kanye said, only millionaires wear chains. They said, what? He said, I'm a billionaire. Billionaires don't wear their money on their pockets. I tucked my chain and I said, oh, snap. Yeah. Yeah. It was a good appearance. It was fun and funny. But when he woke up, he went on Drink Champs again. This time, he was on one. He was mad about something. He said, I can say anti-Semitic things. And Adidas can't trap me. Now what? Adidas dropped that nigga immediately. <laughs> Ironically, Adidas was founded by Nazis. And they were offended. I guess the student had surpassed the teacher. It's a big deal. He had broken the show business rules. Is this a rule? You know, the rules of perception. If, if they're black, then it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob, but if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence, and you should never speak about it. <laughs> Kanye got in so much trouble, Kyrie got in trouble. <laughs> Kyrie, Kyrie Irving posted a, a, a link to a movie that he had seen on Amazon. No caption on the post or nothing like that, but apparently this movie had some, I don't know, anti-Semitic tropes or something. And it was some weird title, like from Hebrew to Negro or something. <laughs> and the NBA told me he should apologize, and he was slow to apologize. And then the list of demands to get back in their good graces got longer and longer, and this, this is where, you know, I draw the line. 
I know the Jewish people have been through terrible things all over the world, but 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 you can't blame that on black Americans. You just you just can't. You know what I mean? Thanks for the one person that said me. <laughs> a fair punishment would be he should just post a link to Schindler's list and y'all write your own captions. <laughs> Kyrie Irving's black ass was nowhere near the Holocaust. In fact, he's not even certain it existed. I saw one news pundit screaming about Kanye. She said, mental health is no excuse for that type of language. Yes, it is, bitch. You can kill somebody if you're mentally ill. Listen, okay. I don't think Kanye is crazy at all. I think he's possibly not well. <laughs> well, I've been to Hollywood. No one's y'all to get mad at me. I'm just telling you, I've been to Hollywood. This was just what I saw. Trust in me, don't even laugh at me. I warned you, honey. I don't get you. It's a lot of juice. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> but that didn't mean anything. You know what I mean? There's a lot of black people in Ferguson, Missouri. That mean we run the place. <laughs> To see if you had some kind of issue, you know what I mean? You might go out to Hollywood and your mind might start connecting some kind of lines and you could maybe adopt the delusion that the Jews run show business. It's not a crazy thing to think, but it's a crazy thing to say out loud in a kind of like this. Now the midterms are over, and it's crazy climate. And I gotta tell you, uh, I feel like this midterm, like all of humanity depends on it. And it's an ominous sign. The most ominous sign of the midterms, I believe, would be Herschel Walker, who I, I don't wanna speak badly of because he's black. <laughs> but I have to admit, he's, um, he's observably stupid. Even when he's not talking, his mouth be open a little bit like. <laughs> he's the kind of guy that looks like he thinks before he makes a move on tic-tac-toe. <laughs> and I'm watching the news now, they're declaring the end of the Trump era. Now, okay, I can see how in New York, you might believe this is the end of his era. I'm, I'm just being honest with you, I live in Ohio amongst poor whites. <laughs> a lot of you don't understand why Trump was so popular, but I, I get it, because I hear it every day. He's very loved. And the reason he's loved is because people in Ohio have never seen somebody like him. He's what I call an honest liar. Well, I'm not joking right now. He's an honest liar. That first debate, that first debate, I'd never seen anything like it. I've never seen a white male billionaire screaming at the top of his lungs, this whole system is rigged, he said. <laughs> and across the stage was a white woman, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, sitting over there looking at him like, no, it's not. I said, now, wait a minute, bro. <laughs> it's what he said. And the moderator said, well, Mr. Trump, if in fact the system is rigged, as you suggest, what would be your evidence? You remember what he said, bro? He said, I know the system is rigged because I use it. I said, God damn. <laughs> and then he pulled out an Illuminati membership card and chopped a line of cocaine up and did it right into the podium. <laughs> no one had ever heard someone say something that true. And then Hillary Clinton tried to punch him in the taxes. She said, this man doesn't pay his taxes. He shot right back. That makes me smart. 